Hey, it's Joel. Um, I want to talk about 12 Minutes. It's a game that was released recently from Annapurna uh, Interactive. That's a publisher anyways. Um, you've probably heard of it forever ago. It has an all-star cast. James McAvoy, uh, Willem Dafoe, Daisy Ridley. Um, you know, they're, they're capable at what they do. They have high caliber acting. They've got the chops to do what they do. Let's go ahead and talk about the actual story. There is some speculation about this game, um, what's actually happening, and people are confused. So I wanna make it very clear as quick as possible. Spoilers start now. You, your wife, and the cop are stuck in a loop. A loop that basically, I believe, revolves, takes 11 to 12 tries to end. By that I mean you have to basically keep you being using your decipher skills and deduction skills to figure out what's going on. So what you've determined is that initially you think that your wife has killed her father and she has stolen a pocket watch. The pocket watch has significance because the twist is you're actually her half brother from a um, affair with a nanny. Uh, her dad and your dad had an affair with a nanny. And from my understanding, the nanny uh, died in childbirth. But again, that one's kind of, there's a bit of a weird part on there because it talks about how um, the sister hasn't seen the nanny since she was two. Uh, halfway through the game, or towards the end of the game, I should say, there is a part where you no longer see your sister as wife, and the character, again, doesn't have any other name besides wife and, and husband, um, where you see your character of, you see the sister in the name as her. So, who is the cop? The cop is the most important part, I feel. The cop is a physical manifestation um, of the father, of your father, because the reality of the situation is, as you soon find out towards the end of the game, is that you're actually sitting in hypnotherapy. And what's happening is your father, who's been really good at this, has lots of books stacked high in this room. You're stuck in this room. You have three options to be able to basically end this loop and end your purgatory loop. Solution number one, you walk away. You walk away with the memories of this and you just go, okay, I'm gonna be alone because it's wrong because incest is wrong. Number two, you say, no, I'm gonna fight it, and in doing so, you effectively kill your father. Now, this one doesn't actually end the loop. So there's really only two actual main endings. The last ending is, hey, I'd rather be blissful. I'd rather, I feel actually there's quite a few endings, but hey, I'd rather be blissful. Hey, I'd rather walk away from the situation. Uh, and, and, you know, even though my sister is going to be hurt, now, this is where it comes speculation. I'm like, my sister's going to be hurt, but I'm going to walk away and we get my memories of race. Very similar to Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Okay. Got that under control? Good. So, that's where we end up. And as our character, basically, the, to get to that solution, you have to kind of go through the mental gymnastics of, this is what I'm doing. My sister and I should not be together and despite me having this obsession and this crush and infatuation on my half-sister that I don't know until later, I'm gonna move forward with my life. That is the best ending. Now, the whole thing about the murder doesn't happen. Again, it's just your character doing the mental gymnastics and doing a simulation over and over again or going through purgatory because that's all it is. It's an endless time loop that you need to solve. Is the game tedious? At times, yeah, it can be. Um, the first hour or so is pretty fun. It's fun going through the motions, fun learning about all of the tricks. Uh, we, My wife and I eventually needed to use a walk, not a walkthrough, sorry, we needed a guide to kind of tell us what the next steps were because really we, we got lost. Uh, and it's all because I was experimenting too much with the game. Um, basically, you have the option of effectively killing off the cop because again, the cop, so why is the cop bald and why is your dad have hair? Why do they have the same voice? People think, oh, it's because they're being cheaper. No, it's very simple. Again, the, the police officer is a is an embodiment of all the negative uh, qualities of your of your father. It's all the negative qualities of him in a bad guy form. And so he takes on effectively a hitman form, right? What do you think of when you think of a hitman? Well, typically you think of a bald man. Why? Because Agent 47 and the Hitman franchise. Basically, you, you think of someone who is professional and is willing to kill and so forth. So that is what your father's, the cop is, because again, it's not a police officer because cops don't kill unless they're dirty cops, but again, that's, that's not it. Um, so that's it. That's the entire story. 
All the other stuff were red herrings and fluff and everything designed to throw you off the track. When we found out the twist, my wife and I, we both said today, damn, that felt like we actually kind of knew it. And either we repressed it months ago or a couple of years ago, or, this is the important part, or we actually um, played something similar or watched something very similar. And what I'm talking about similar is where the main character doesn't know he's dating his sibling. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I know the Royal Tenenbaums does something similar, but not exactly, you know. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's that's 12 minutes. Um, it is a, a really good game. Um, it's well done. The voice acting, I thought, was really well done. Uh, it does feel kind of stilted at times because, again, as Skill Up has said in a few other, you really got to let the actors shine with the work. Um, but overall... It, I felt like it did what it needed to do. Yes, it became tedious at the end, and we were just clicking through it all the time. Uh, and it kind of sucks that there is one section where you effectively jot, you know, you jot the cop's mind on. This is the, how the twist begins. Uh, there's a because you know, remember, this is the important part. Your wife is pregnant, and again, this is where people speculate. Hey, uh, is the wife pre is your sister pregnant in the in the real time? Or is she, act, is again, is he just obsessed with her? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So well, you find out the nanny's name, which ends up, like I said, becoming your daughter's name or your kid's name. Um, again, none of the details are really all that important when it comes down to it. Um, you pretty much experience most of the game in the first hour or so, or half hour, uh, maybe even 20 minutes, um, for the room, I'm saying. Uh, and then, of course, there actually is an ending, apparently, where you can just stop and you don't get a, a continue, and it just says quit. Um, I haven't got that one, I don't think, but I also think I've pretty much achieved the game, and I know what I want to do. To be able to get the final ending, though, at least any I got, is you have to click on the book uh, that your wife is reading, you ask her about it, and then at the end of it, when you basically pull out Pocky Watch and everything, go through the whole motions, you then get the option of, hey, this is what's happened. Um, you go into the bathroom, you get the Pocky Watch, you go, okay, cool. Um, and then, you know, after the dialogues have basically passed, you get the option to click on the book twice. The first time, dial two dialogue options come up. You click on it the second time, and then that's basically when the game pretty much ends. You just gotta let it sit through the motions. A lot of the time, it's just an interactive movie. It's just an interactive, it's really what it is. It's just a, uh, an interactive movie that you can move around in. Um, in a lot of ways, you'll notice with the cop and your wife, sister that your character really doesn't interact with them uh, and in doing so actually stops um it, it, it affects the loop and it makes it reboot especially if you tick off the police officer so there you go that's that's pretty much it that's that's 12 minutes in a nutshell i want to try to make this short um there's quite a bit to cover it is a pretty decent game i give it a quality 7.5 7 7.5 out of there out of 10 uh great first effort from the developer uh, and of course, Annapurna or Annapurnera, whatever, their publishing is great. If you haven't played Remains of Edith Finch, absolutely do it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.